a development selling for about ten million dollars yeah. and within two years that development a house in that development is being resold for 21 million dollars yeah. right so you buy that house for 10 million dollars and within two years you're able to resell that for for more than twice the cost yes hey guys what's up hi welcome back to the delprat family i know you've probably seen a few videos from us where we you know speak about real estate investing you know purchasing real estate yeah this is because we actually want to empower our community you know reprogram the thinking of the people to actually look to own real estate typically while growing up you know it's a, it's a common theme where we you know look to get education to come out to buy a car you know and we look on acquiring a motor vehicle as like basically to show prosperity yes so it's basically you get a job and the next thing that persons do in our society is to buy a car yeah you know and it, it, it serves as a as a status you know a symbol yes it's a go on for you my girl my youth you have to open a life <laughs> get that car like, yeah you know so mm -hmm. persons down my look look and say what things are going for you buy a car you know, prosperity. It's what we typically see. Um, and that, that's what we saw as well. And we're not here to shed some light on that. We're basically our opinion. Right. So basically, does does owning a car make you rich? Does it genuinely show your financial status or your wealth? Mm -hmm. Or does it make you poor? Alright? And I want you guys to in the comments tell me your opinion. Alright? Mm -hmm. So if you think that a car is gonna make you poor, say car equals poor. Our car equals poverty, alright? The one the first thing that we see persons are gonna start to show their wealth is again a car. So you see the musicians, you see the sport athletes, persons once they start accumulating wealth, the first thing we see them buy is a European vehicle. You know them one they mess up, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> the Benz, the Bima, you know the uh, range start jargon up. Yeah man. So yeah. And, and it's like we kind of use that as a measure of success yeah but I, really I, and I truly like that. I like that. a measure of success yeah. so generally as people start earning money the first thing they look to is, is to, to buy an you know, expensive vehicle yeah right we start uh, keeping up with the joneses the step that we take in buying a car as the first step is actually a wrong step in our minds and we're gonna explain to you guys in this video why we think this is so and the way how you should actually go about investing your money in yeah. terms of generating generational wealth yeah so we're programmed in such a way that as agent said we left school home that work car right start mm -hmm. making a little money car so you purchase the car yeah. drive it off the lot mm -hmm. Immediately the car loses about 10% of its value. Yeah. Right? Just like that. Nice, Just like that. Clean, new yeah. car smell still in it. <laughs> and it loses 10% of its value. The bankers won't tell you this, you know, the car salesmen won't tell you this. The people that actually buy the car won't tell you this. Yeah. Right? But we are trying to educate the people. Yes, the car depreciates rapidly. Mm -hmm. And after five years, the car will lose around 40% of its value. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is a really a bad investment when you so really look at within it. Within five years, mm -hmm. you're losing fifty percent of the car's value, right? And of course, you know, it also depends on the make of the car as well. Yes. Right, the model. So some brand cars will keep value more than others. Like you know, what we're mm -hmm. talking about in Jamaica, right? Right. However, generally, cars depreciate quite a lot yeah. you know that's the that's the bottom line and another sad fact is most of us right off the bat when we start earning cannot afford to buy a car cash so that leads us to get a loan and mm -hmm. uh, when we get a loan we are accumulating at least 30 percent interest on the amount that we are borrowing for the life the, of the loan for the life of the loan mm -hmm. and these days the car loans are reaching up to at least up to ten thousand up to ten years sorry so nowadays you can literally get a, a, a mortgage for 10 years on a car yes on a car and the payments can be minimum 
$60,000, for our impact. I don't even know where I'll get $60,000 to be a brand, be a mm -hmm. current year uh -huh. model. But, good luck. <laughs> you know, but it's more likely going to be at least thirty to $80,000 payment for the next 10 years, 7 years. Um, that is a steep cost. Mm -hmm. And at the end of paying for that cost, you're paying the full value of the, the car plus the interest and the value of the car would have depreciated. So, you purchase the car, you spend the extra to finance the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Your expenses don't finish there. In fact, expenses just start. Yeah. Because you're going to have to actually maintain the car. And that, my friend, mm -hmm. is very expensive. <laughs> yeah, man, well, I'll actually pull the phone out because this list is quite extensive. So, yes. here it goes. So you buy the car, you have to put gas in it. The next thing is servicing your vehicle is a constant expense. Yeah, we talk about insurance. This is a hefty sum. Car owner, even if you're not own car in Jamaica, you hear expensive insurances, car yeah. insurance. Yes. And car accidents, these things actually wear you down, you know. You can't even talk about your recent mm. incident, Adrian. Yeah, man, like, the other day, Oh jeez, I'm scratching my head, right? That's your head. Yeah, man, so the other day, a girl go about my business, a bike man, a race, and it just comes slam outside of my car, you know, mash it up, basically. The door, yeah. the passenger, glass, everything mash up on the other side. Yeah. Right, so, the man that they don't... Right, yeah, man. The man that they don't want to tell up in bike and ride away, and face bleeding and just take the bike and ride away. This is the general thing with these people on the road. Yes, and right? in Jamaica especially, look out for the bike man them. Yeah, man. And, and when they make you, they might run. Yeah. Basically, all that cost was inputted onto Adrian. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the third party has made, has made good his escape. Mm -hmm. Right? And left Adrian with damages to his car. And more right. like you know, bike men don't have insurance anyway. So, it's, so you're going to either have to be putting the bill out of pocket to repair the car or using the insurance. And again, yeah, we know right. how the insurance thing going in at Jamaica. It's not look pretty when next time you insure your vehicle. Next year. Yeah. So basically we're saying, if we can't pay for the, for the item twice, we really can't afford it. Yeah. Unless it's a real estate. Yeah. Then at that point, you know, sleep on the floor to afford it. Because in the long run, the value of the property, the benefit of it, mm -hmm. would definitely be, you know, be worth it. So real estate is something that we have, that we've definitely been discussing at length mm -hmm. and that we've ventured into. What we have learned is that the real estate investment has far more benefit than buying a car. And we're going to tell you some of the benefits that we've learned mm -hmm. over the years. Right. right. The main thing with real estate is that it appreciates rapidly over time yeah you know basically inverse to how a car depreciates uh, real estate appreciates yeah right so the car investments going this way the, the house you know going up. exponential going up. Yeah. serious 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 uh, we have an example where you know a development selling for about 10 million dollars yeah. and within two years that development, a house in that development is being resold for $21 million. Yeah. Right? So you buy that house for $10 million, and within two years, you're able to resell that for, for more than twice the cost. Yes. I'm sure you won't be able to do that with a car. That's for sure. So, right then and there, you see the main benefits of owning real estate over owning a car. And again, this is what I want to implore you know our, our viewers that buying a car is overrated and it's over publicized right to our detriment right these these car makers they make a lot of money you know they spend a, yeah, lot, of money, a lot of money advertising right yes you know to make you feel comfortable sell you a dream empowered, mm -hmm. freedom right yes. but in the end we are left with with a with a big burden you know so we are we are left poorer than we started you know so buying a house is a low risk investment what does that mean it means that um relative to time investing your money in a house it has a very good potential of increasing 
more positive than negative exits mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. buying a house. Right. Right? It's a low risk investment. Even if you don't maintain it, it's still an investment. What I mentioned before that, you know, many persons probably be watching this video, you know, they might come from humble beginnings, yeah. right? The way how we're able to, to uplift our family is not by buying cars. And well, unless you're starting a car rental company, <laughs> right? You know, having a fleet of cars renting them. Outside of that, it, it doesn't help much. The way to build generational wealth is by investing in real estate, buying yes. property. Property. Right? You buy a house, you buy land. When you buy property, real estate, it can stay for 10, year, 10 years. 20 years, 30 mm -hmm. years, 40 years, it can outlive your children mm -hmm. and it will certainly outlive you. Mm -hmm. So when you buy a property, it can really accumulate and it can breed generational wealth, yep. wealth for your children, your grandkids and your great grandkids. All right. As I said previously, you know, we were programmed to, to buy in the car as a means to show prosperity, to show that, you know, where we are we're moving up the ladder yeah. you know but actually we are programmed incorrectly in my mind you know buying real estate actually increases your earning potential mm -hmm. that's another way to use real estate so you can buy it and use it to accumulate money whether yeah. it is short-term or long-term rentals mm -hmm. um, you can definitely earn money while waiting to reap further investment later on mm -hmm. from for, for from example selling the property as we right. mentioned in our previous video with uh, real estate investing, so you purchase the property, separate from the property, appreciating rapidly over time, you can still make money off of that property by renting it, whether for short term or long term rentals. And we actually did multiple videos on short term and long term rentals, you know, talking about like Airbnb or, you know, having long term tenants at your property. So what we're basically saying, it's when we put a car and a house head on, mm -hmm. real estate wins. Every time. Every time. No doubt, it wins. After paying for that long mortgage for a car for 10 years, what do you have? You have 50% of the value of mm -hmm. what you just paid for. So basically, you buy that car for $4 million, just for argument's sake. You ended up, you ended up paying $5.5 .5 million for that car in the end. But at the end, you cannot sell a car for four million. You probably have to sell it for two point five or three million at best. At best. So you're you're losing every way from investing in a motor vehicle. So basically, when you look at it, you buy a house today for one million dollars, and let's just say 10, 20 years down the line, you can sell it for thirty million, forty million dollars. Legit. Yes, and then some. And let's look at the real estate market in Jamaica. It is growing. Mm -hmm. It is definitely growing and it has exponential possibilities. So in the future, we are looking, guys, remember, the Delphi family told you, all right, go invest in property. Mm -hmm. yes. Go invest in real estate. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. All right? Yeah. And leave in the comments any thoughts you might have about this, you know. Yeah. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed before. Hit the, not hit the notification bell. Yes. So you'll be notified whenever we post a video. Right. Thank you guys. Bye. Peace out. Mm -hmm.